Hey guys, a warm welcome back to the channel. We have been extremely busy in the background with not one, but actually two new projects coming to the channel very soon. Here's one of them. I'll let you guess what that one is. We've also got something in line for Owen to upgrade his Vauxhall Corsa and the keen-eyed among you might already have an inkling of what that is. But before we do any of that, I have got some very vital jobs to do on the BBI, which literally put a break on the whole project. The Ferrari BBI project for me is a very special one and with that it means I'm going to extreme lengths in order to sort out and do everything correctly on this car. Now one of the problems uh, which I shouldn't actually have a problem with is all to do with the brake system and these things here. So I stripped apart all the brakes and unfortunately when I did that and put it with the platers he's managed to lose one of the eight blocks uh, which causes me a big issue because without that I can't put the brakes together and I can't buy that part anymore. So I have flown all the way across the pond from London to here. It's sunny Tampa, Florida because I put a post out on Instagram for some help. Can anyone recommend someone who can make one of these for me, CNC or whatever it is? And these guys at Tampa Vapor Blasting have kindly offered to step in and have all the equipment to recreate a mimic complete block like this of the one that I do still have fortunately so we're gonna head inside and hopefully these guys can uh, fix the problem for me despite the extremely low mileage like every other component coming off the BBI the brakes were off to get a complete overhaul and refurb the missing brake block was a real setback but once again my viewers saved the day the first step in this high-tech process is the system takes measurements and reference points by using the original part. The data is then transferred within the software to create a 3D file with all the dimensions, profiles and cut points. Final stage is where the real magic happens and with a plain block of metal it's added to the machine and transformed using the 3D file. The machine then cuts out a perfect copy of my original brake block once again, saving my bacon. Okay guys, as you saw, Tampa Vape Blasting have done a absolutely superb job. And right now I've just received a very, very important package all the way from across the pond. Uh, a week later, now it took the guys a week because they went the extra mile on this one and they got the correct metal that Ferrari used back in the early 80s. And look at this for a superb job. That is the original. This is the one they've created for me. And well, they did a spare as well, just in case I happen to lose another one. Anyway, I can't thank Adam and his brother enough from Vapor, uh, Tumble Vapor Blasting. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to their website in the description below. This is their Instagram. If you guys need anything, not just vapor blasting, as you can see, they've got the capability to do all of the uh, copying and all the uh, CNC machining for things like this, uh, which otherwise are just not available from Ferrari. You know, they have literally just saved the brake project on the BBI. So, uh, thank you so much, guys. Anyway, that is not the end of the story with the BBI brakes. Unfortunately, I have one more dilemma that I need your help with, guys. So, we now have all the bits. Uh, we have um, got one more little problem here. Now, this lot all went off to get uh, blasted back because Ferrari, when they finished these calipers at factory, they were finished in a yellow zinc, like a gold finish. Um, and when these went off, we tried to zinc them with the rest of the stuff and they just wouldn't take on this steel. So, uh, as you can see, unfortunately they are steel and they've already started to rust again, even though these are being protected in a uh, sealed box. So we have tried another method and that was just to paint these things and as you can see, it just doesn't look right and we've gone to this extreme of flying across the world and doing various bits to resurrect these brakes uh, so they need to be finished correctly. So if anybody knows, anyone who can help me out and finish these with a yellow zinc, now it's few and far between apparently nowadays that people have the capability to do this, uh, please do let me know in the comments below 
any kind of recommendations. I really, really want this to be done right now. But we have now everything to rebuild them. We've got all the brake lines here, brake pads, we've got rebuild kits, we've got all our pistons, everything ready now. So we just need that one last little bit. These finished in yellow zinc and then we are good to go. Now when you're buying any car, it doesn't matter if you're buying a daily driver or a smashed up Ferrari, there's one essential tool that you should always be using and that is Car Vertical. Here's why. So we're looking for a Porsche for Owen and luckily we ran a Car Vertical. So if we have a look at this boxer, straight away you can see that there were accidents reported and if we run through the Car Vertical, you can see the car was manufactured and registered in 2015, but then in 2016 there was damage reported in the UK and France. If we keep going down, we've got the stolen vehicle check, another vital check that you want to make sure if you're buying a car and then we've got a mileage discrepancy check and then the vital part is this damage section if you have a look through here we can see that the car was written off in 2016 and then specs on the car but then the real vital part is photos so we run through the photos of the damage you know you might be buying a car that has been repaired so this is really really good to see just how bad the damage is on the car or was on the car and as you can see if we run through these we've got heavy damage on the front of the car and on the inside you can see the airbags were also deployed plus we've got damage to the windscreen so this car was really bad and this is really not the one for Owen. So find out the history on your car today, head over to Car Vertical and use code RATAROSSA for a nice discount and who knows how much money you could save. Next up, it's more engine components and here's how the starter motor looked originally when we removed it from the car. The solenoid cap was completely wrecked and with all the weather and harsh winters, that starter motor was highly unlikely to be any good at all. Now, as you know, with this build, we are really trying to keep on top of things. So the big bit of this that we still need to address is the engine. But on top of the engine, we have many things that bolt together to make it all work. Two of those things are the uh, alternators here. The BBI has two alternators and we got a very, very heavy starter motor over here as well. So we've had these vapor blasted. They look all good. Uh, we've had various bits on here all plated such as the little fans that go on the end of the alternators, uh, some bolts, some washers, all looks good, but that is not gonna help us with the functionality of these things. So while uh, we have everything off the en engine, we are now gonna get these checked out and make sure that all the internals are working perfectly. So when we bolt it together, we've got no worries that these are gonna go wrong. So I'm gonna take these off to a specialist. He's gonna strip them apart, check them all over for me, and then, we can box them up, ready to go back on the car. Let's go. There's only one way to transport goods when you're uh, getting them refurbished. That's fast, it's quick, it's powerful. It's in, it's reliable. Wish my arms were as powerful because these things way an absolute time. Two days later. Anyway, cheers, thank you very much. And just like that, with the power of YouTube, we are back again. I love coming to local little places like this. Just like a small shop, not a big industrial sized unit that work and focus on just starters and alternators. So Burfield, Starter and Alternator Center have done a fantastic job. Check these out. This is just one of my two alternators on the BBI. And you would think that's brand new. This has all been done properly. It's all painted the original Bosch colors and it looks like brand new again. Look at that, spins beautifully. That was all sea solid. Um, unfortunately, when I uh, got these vapor blasted, it actually seized up the inside. So this was a bit of a nightmare job to do. Again, like new. And then we've got my bits to go on. I've got to just find the wood rough keys in uh, various boxes I've got back home. And then we've got the starter motor there as well. And again, all repainted with the solenoid. Looks like absolute new. Super, super happy with these. And um, well, they're gonna go back home now. So in the box for a little while, protect these until they're ready to go back on the engine. Final bit on this is, uh, well, somewhere we've got two little keys that sit in the slots like that, that hold these bits in place. Problem is, they're somewhere in this pile of boxes. So, uh, need a win a haystack time.
I've found O's location in life. He's the master at taping things up. We're taping up this, uh, what is this, a wiper motor, isn't it? I'm going yeah. to just uh, tidy all this up here. And uh, there's a couple of little intricate metal bits that stick out that uh, we're going to just protect. What O's protecting, I'll do the hard work. Because of those amazing taping skills, this is all freshly finished, looking like new. I'm just going to package that up now and put it in with the box of bits that are ready to go back on the car. One of the parts that actually suffered the most on the BBI was the radiator. With its location tucked at the front of the car, sitting on the chassis frame, the car's design actually allows water to sit in the bracket holding the radiator in place and thus slowly rotting away over the years. Now I strongly suspect that many boxers, not just mine, actually suffer with rust from that design flaw because there's literally no way of seeing that area of the car without completely removing the radiator. So I'm sure many boxer owners are in with a shock at some point. Anyway, somehow we need to sort this mess out. So it was time to strip it all apart and send it off to Frank, my radiator guy. Okay, so we are ready to reassemble all the bits that we've had done on the radiator. Now, first of all, uh, I've started working on the two side fans. This was just a straightforward clean up. O did this one, uh, so it was very dusty, very dirty. We've got a little bit more to work on some of these. So we're going to just do the threads again and the screws. This one, well, I used uh, your comments from the previous video. This is the stuff that I used on the uh, side mirrors. And uh, as you can see with this, really, really has come up nicely. So that is ready. We've got to do the same with this one. One more clean up, use some more of that. But the big dilemma, as is always with the BBI, nothing is ever straightforward. So the central fan here, we've powder coated all of the frame. We had all the metal vapor blasted. We've got some nice shiny screws and bolts there. And uh, all of this was zinc plated. Um, but when we took the original one apart, the yellow fan, which was very faded anyway, so I kind of wanted to do something with this or um, replace it. That's how it looks. Really, really, should be nice bright yellow like this, but it was very brittle and it just broke apart. In fact, it was all cracked anyway, so when I took it off, it actually snapped. There's no fix in that one. So, I thought I'd be very, very clever. I managed to find one of these. I've got a feeling this was off something like an MG or something crazy like that. This was like 35 pounds, and the fan blade is made by uh, Gate, which is the same company as this. Somewhere on here it says Gate. Um, unfortunately though, my genius idea didn't quite pan out. The blades are very, very slightly bigger. So when you take this fan off and you try and put it in this housing, it won't fit. So I thought, well, is there any way of trimming these down? But obviously this has to be absolutely perfect. You can see the little balance there. So we had to sack off that idea as well. Anyway, eventually I managed to find this. This was from Ferrari in America, shipped across. That cost me about 200 pounds with shipping. Uh, they do make one of these here from Ferrari, but the upgraded part that they use now is a black one. We want originality with this, so we've got the yellow one. However, it still is not 100% correct. And let me show you why. So if you look at the uh, central part here, we kind of got that little kind of propeller side of things with the two holes either side and a hole here, which needs to slot on here. And then we've got a little um, washer that holds it all in place, spring washer. But guess what? It is the right size. It fits in there perfectly, but the hole in the middle does not. So, not exactly sure which Ferrari this came from. It was advertised as a BBI. Uh, but there's no more in the world. Ferrari do not make this part. This was literally the last one that we could find. Uh, so, I think we are going to try and fix this. Here's my plan. Let's head in there. Right, that. Um, that one, I'm guessing, must go over here. like that. Three hands. Let's 
go in there. Yep. Should we test it? Okay, with our freshly built pillar drill, we're going to use it to drill out the middle of this fan here so it fits on the shaft like so. We're very, very close. What it is, it goes over the top, but there's another little collar here for the second part. And then we're going to put our spring washer over the top, hold it all together, and to do that, find out exactly how wide this is and how far we have to drill. I'm going to use these calipers that I'm clearly an expert in, as you all pointed out in the previous video all the lovely comments uh, when we measured the depth using O's genius idea we could have just used this I did actually know it honestly I actually knew this but uh, sometimes I have a uh, brain fog and um, it didn't quite I don't know anyway so we're going to drill this now and see how we get on So that was an 8mm drill bit, we need to go to about 10mm on this one, so I'm just going to gradually work my way up and I'll come back when we get there. Okay guys, plan worked, it's in, we've just got to put the spring washer on, job done and uh, I think we're just going to add some new shiny nuts and bolts on the back and then put it back together. Okay guys, you saw at the beginning of the radiator part just how bad and how rusty it was. In fact, it was probably the most rusty part on the BBI. But check this out. It's been off to my radiator guy and what can I say? What an awesome job. This, I promise you, is the original radiator you saw. Here is all the markings. This is the same thing. It's all been completely rebuilt, reframed and uh, so happy with that. Not only has he done that, he's also done the AC condenser as well, just uh, which was in similar condition. Uh, now have a guess how much one of these would cost from Ferrari. If you could get one, there's none available. £4,490 just for the radiator. Uh, AC condenser, no idea. There is no price on those and uh, I don't know when they were last ever stocked by Ferrari. So. Everything is pretty much done now. We've got our fans to go on. I've just got to clean up this one and then, oh, let's give you a little look. It's gonna all start to come together. This is probably gonna be the most sexy radiator for a BBI in the world. And look at that all together, looking amazing. Really, really happy with how that has turned out. One more thing to do, or two more things. I've got some new hardware here on order just to, some temporary ones in there for the time being and I've got a new sensor going in it as well so now I'm going to wrap this one up very very carefully because it's extremely delicate and uh, well that's another big bit ready to go in the BBI well guys there's a few more dilemmas fixed sorted and parts ready to go back in the BBI this is literally going to be the best one in the world when we finish with it in the next video we're over onto this the bodywork on the BBI where we're going to start to block it sand it and get it ready for its final coat of paint then we can start bowling all of those newly refurbished parts into the car we've got all the brake system all the radiators only running brake lines and everything else in between anyway guys until then stay safe don't forget you can check out what i get up to on a daily basis i'm gonna have a well-deserved nap ciao for now